FIFA have been clear in their intention to host a World Cup every two years, but there has been a development today. Uh, let's get more on this with our reporter, Carve uh, Solikol, who is here, our chief reporter. What's the latest? Well, look, uh, we have been hearing what the players think today. It's all well and good FIFA wanting a World Cup every two years. What do the players think? Uh, the Players World Union, FIFPro, has carried out a survey of uh, more than a thousand players and according to the results of this survey 75 percent of male players want the world cup to be every four years not every two years so this is going to be a bit of a blow for fifa and the fifa president gianni infantino there are some continental variations when you look at the actual figures. For instance, if we're talking about male players in Europe and Asia, 77% of them want things to stay the same. World Cup every four years. In the Americas, 63% want it to stay the same. But if you look at Africa, in Africa, only 49% of male players want things to stay the same. Only 49% want a World Cup every four years. Uh, the rest of the players there, 51% of them, want a World Cup every two years or every three years. So there are differences in different parts of the world. So is this ever going to happen? A couple of months ago, uh, I thought it was likely that it would happen uh, because Gianni Infantino wanted it. He's the FIFA president. Uh, there are lots of uh, associations, members of FIFA who wanted it to happen. Now, I'm not so sure because so many people have come out against it. First of all, for instance, UEFA are totally against it. Uh, CONMEBOL, the South American Football Confederation, are against it. Uh, the European Clubs Association, against it. The European Leagues, against it. Even the International Olympic Committee are against it. But if you read what FIFA have to say and look deeply into the reasons why they want this change, there are some good points they're making. You know, I know a lot of cynics will say this is all to do with money. This is just a turf war between UEFA and FIFA. Johnny Infantino wants to uh, increase the revenues coming into FIFA and the best way to do that is to have more World Cups. I think if you look at what the member associations of FIFA say, a lot of them want more World Cups because bear in mind there's 211 member associations of FIFA and I think only 78 of them have ever played at a World Cup finals. So you're talking about something like 131 uh, national teams that have never played at a World Cup final. And you can understand why they are thinking, look, if we have more World Cups, it will mean more chances of us playing in a World Cup finals. Also, more money and more chance to develop the game in our own country. It might or might not. I mean, you could have the same countries qualifying for a World Cup if it was every four years, every two years. I mean, that, that is a good point. Uh, you could have the same countries always qualifying. But these countries, we have to not see everything from uh, our own perspective. Yeah. You know, from the Football Association's perspective, from uh, UEFA's perspective, you can understand they don't want a World Cup every two years. But if you are, for instance, the Iranian Football uh, Federation or the North Korean Football Association. You can understand from their point of view, they may think, yep, this looks good, it's more money and more chances for us to qualify for the World Cup. Although I should say Iran do have a pretty good uh, record anyway of qualifying for World Cup finals. Carvis Olicle, thanks very much indeed for the latest on what no doubt will be a, an argument that's going to go on for uh, a year or three yet.